I like that a lot. I think that's going to be cute. I think I got into that after like trying. <gasps> hey guys. <laughs> I can't even take myself serious right now. Look, this is not my fault. I follow a woman whose Instagram and YouTube channel's name is Faces With Purpose. And I'm blaming this all on her because I was minding my own business, telling myself I wasn't gonna order anything else. I wasn't gonna shop that much anymore. And then all I see is found this at Marshall's, found this at TJ Maxx. Oh my God, this discount. Y'all, look what I got. And I'm just like, my stores don't even have that. I went out of town. I went to Dallas. And I'm just like, let me just go see. Let me check. There's three bags. Three bags. And it's all your fault. So... We have a haul video and I'm excited to show you guys these products because they were so discounted and a lot of it is high-end stuff. So that made me really excited. I want to get right into the video, but guys, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on your notifications so you know when I upload. If you guys like watching haul videos and you love makeup, hit the like button, comment below what your favorite products are, and let's get started. I'm gonna try to make this fast because like I said, it's a lot of stuff and I don't want this video to take forever. So I have two bags from Marshalls and one from TJ Maxx. The first, we'll go with TJ Maxx. First thing I picked up were the Simple Kind to Skin Micellar Water Cleansing Wipes. I use cleansing wipes to wipe up my hands and my table after I film or when I do swatches. So anytime I can get them on a discount, I'm gonna grab them. This double pack, which has 25 wipes in each pack, was only five bucks. So yes, in the cart, done. Next thing I picked up was this NARS Light Reflecting Setting Powder. And this is in the shade Sunstone. So I was just happy to see NARS, to be honest. And I used to have the, the white one that they had. And that was just, I bought it and I didn't like it. It was back in the days before I really knew what to do with makeup. And I was just like, this is stupid. This is not for me. I don't like my face shiny like this. So got rid of it. And then I saw this one. This will probably be like an all over setting powder for me to help give a little glow. It does have a slight sheen to it. So I think it'll be similar to my Marc Jacobs Accomplice powder that I like. And the, can't think right now. I'm too excited. Pat McGrath under eye blurring powder. So this one will just be for my whole face instead of just for under my eyes. Next thing I picked up was this Milk Makeup Flex Concealer in the shade Golden Honey. I almost bought this during the summer when they were having their friends and family sale and I was just like, Barbara, you don't need it. But when you can get it for $8, I mean, yeah, I guess I kind of needed it. So this is what the shade looks like. It's a little more, they didn't have that many shades. I think this will be a good shade for me though. Um, it's a little yellow, which is not my favorite, but a lot of the powders I've been using are more of like a white, not a white, but like a, oh, uh, not yellow, but like a beige. There you go, a beige. So I think it'll help cancel it out a little bit. But so yeah, that, excited about that. I also picked up their, Kush Fiber Brow Gel. This I got for $6 and it is in the shade Dutch. So instead of it being a clear brow gel, it has a bit of a tint to it. And it has this little tiny wand like this. So I think this will be perfect on days when, I like to use this on days when I'm not really doing like a full brow. I'll use this in the front and then just draw in my tail because it's not enough hair back there. So I thought, you know, why not try it for that price? Everything is going to be because of the price. I'm just telling you all that now. If I would have had to pay full price for it, I was not going to buy it. But that's neither here nor there because it wasn't, so I did. Next, I picked up the First Aid Beauty Facial Radiance Polish. This is to help exfoliate, brighten, and purify. Safe for sensitive skin. 
I have been having a lot of peeling on my face lately. I don't know if my skin's getting drier or it's the cold weather and the Accutane, but whatever. So right around my mouth has been even drier and peeling. So I love First Aid Beauty and I hadn't tried this before. So this was $13 and I think it's normally over $20. So steal. Next, I picked up the e.l.f. Nourishing Night Cream. I got this for $5 and I think this normally runs if I'm not if I'm wrong, correct me, but it's around like $15 to $20 for their more high end skincare. I paid five bucks for this and I've been liking to use like night masks and night creams and stuff just to help give me a little extra hydration at night because I wake up so dry. But this is really cute, nice luxe packaging. And it just says to massage a small amount of cream into your hands and apply to your face and neck, use nightly. So I think this will be good to use on nights when I don't wanna use a mask, but still have a thicker moisturizer on. Then I also found this Bare Minerals Bare Pro Foundation, and this was on sale for $10. Now I think it's normally 36, but the thing that threw me is this says it's the shade number 27, which is cappuccino on the box. But when I was looking at Sephora to try to figure out if this would be a shade match, there's no 27 cappuccino. It's a different, the number 27, I'm gonna look it up for you guys right now, but the number 27 is actually a different shade. I don't know if this was just in there because it was a misprint or something like that on Sephora's website says it's $34 and the shade 27 is Espresso, which it says deep, cool skin with red undertones. And like I said, this one says 27 Cappuccino, but this is what the shade looks like. This looks really, really red. It has not been opened. I know we're not supposed to open stuff, but y'all, I was sure checking all of these in the store because I'm not coming home with products that are already open. So that's what the shade looks like there. I think it'll be a good match. Y'all know I can always finesse it to make it work. But when it's $34 and I can get it for 10, it's gonna go in the cards. All right, the next thing that I picked up is this Becca Skin Love Brighten and Blur Primer. You guys have seen me use this already and I love it. It's not even close to the gripping primer, nothing like it. But I feel like with me being drier, I feel like this has a little more pore blurring capability than my gripping primer does. So I will definitely be alternating between the two, but I think this is like $34 and it was $7. So I picked up two of these. I have one in my TJ Maxx, I'm sorry, the Marshalls bag, because I saw it there too. I like this and I mean, it's $7. How could I not? I mean, for real. All right, so now we're moving into the Marshalls bag and I did say I got two. So here's the other one of the Becca primers. I also picked up these velvet sponges. I was looking at the Juno and Co sponge. I might still get it just to compare them, but I don't have any velvet sponges. All of my others are like the beauty blender type. So I just wanted to try it. This three pack was $6. So if it's horrible, I'll figure out something else to use it for. But it says that you do use it wet or dry and you can use it for anything and that it uses less product. So. We will see. I also picked up one of these Shadow Switch brush cleaners. This is a dry brush cleaner that you're supposed to be able to just swipe your brush in and it takes off the product. So y'all know when I do eyeshadow looks, I always use the same brush for blending. So I figured I might try this just to see how quick it works without having to use any solution besides using up my Cinema Secrets. So thought this would be good for during makeup looks if I wanted to use the same brush and wanted to clean it without having to get up and go do it. Oh, and this was on sale for $5. I was super excited to find these because I had these sitting in my cart. They're $22 right now at Sephora. And I was like, well, with the 20% off sale, they're regular $44. That's going to be a huge discount. I want to try it. Why is this $8 at Marshall's? And I had both of these shades in my cart because I wasn't sure which one I was gonna need. So the first one is Walnut, which looks like this 
which looks like it'll be a little, not my shade. <laughs> not my shade at all, but I couldn't tell on Sephora's website either. So I was going to get them both and then just bring one back. And then this is Sienna, which I think is actually darker, but it's also more neutral. So I think this one might be a little dark too, but that is definitely more of the shade that I wear. If you can see the difference this one's a little more orange that one's just a little bit darker so we'll see either way I'm gonna try them and see how they work but like I said I was just excited to get it on sale because I was already gonna pay almost well half for it at Sephora with and the 20% off I also picked up a Marc Jacobs crease brush I ain't even gonna lie I picked it up because it was Marc Jacobs and it was on sale for $6. I know Marc Jacobs is expensive. I have no other Marc Jacobs brushes. I don't think I have any. I have a Pat McGrath brush because it came with a kit. But other than that, I don't ever see myself really... I'm going to say that like that. I don't see myself doing it. I'm not saying that I never will. But I don't see myself buying expensive brushes just because that's not my thing. This... Hmm... I don't know, we'll see. The tip of it is a little pointy, which is not what I'm normally used to, and it feels synthetic, so I don't know. Might be a good brush. It's Marc Jacobs, it better be. I was so excited to find this. This is the Marc Jacobs Undercover Perfecting Coconut Face Primer. This is supposed to be skin smoothing and blurring and hydrating. And the regular price for it, I want to say is like 40 bucks. I'm going to have everything listed down below, but I paid 20 bucks for this. And this is what it looks like. I mean, it's Marc Jacobs, y'all. And it's a primer. I, If I could name like the order of what I love about makeup, eyeshadow, duh. But then foundation and primer are like right there just because I love trying different complexion stuff. I decided to pick this up. This is the Milk Makeup Holographic Stick in the shade Mars. I don't have any of their highlighters. I've been interested in their powder highlighters, but I told myself no a long time ago. But I saw this and it's so pretty. It's like a gold, but it has kind of like a pink shift to it. I don't know if you guys can really see. Oh yeah, you can. So y'all know how I am about stuff that's like duochrome and all that goodness. So I'm just going to put it. Oh, you can see the pink in that. I should have put it on my other arm. This, hold on. <laughs> so this is what it looks like. I like that a lot. I think that's going to be cute. I think I got into that after like trying <gasps> I should wipe that off now before I get it on my clothes. I think I got into these from trying my Pat McGrath highlighters that I got, the little trio, because I never tried those before. So I'm like now all into this holographic, duochrome, shiny. I think I just like the dimension of it is what it is. All right, the next thing I picked up is this Becca Soft Light Blurring Powder in Golden Hour. I got it for $10 and first of all, can we talk about how beautiful this packaging is? Now this is something just because of how it looks, I would put like leave out somewhere just for how pretty it is. But let's see what shape. See, so this is more of the color I like. You can kind of, uh, you probably can't see. This is more of like a beige than it is a strict yellow and it also has a bit of a sheen to it i don't know if you guys can see that on the inside of my thumb right there but it kind of looks like the mark jacobs and the pat mcgrath so this is definitely going to get some use the next thing i picked up was another nars product this is their soft velvet press powder and this one is in the shade valley this was 15 dollars. i know this is too dark for me but I love using face powders for a contour if I can't find a contour in my color. We've talked about this before. So I like this one because it's dark, but it's cool toned. And so I think this would be 
really good for contouring with a very light hand in my case. If you're looking for makeup, you're looking for a contour powder to help give some dimension to your cheekbones and you're having trouble, I've talked about this before, get a darker face powder, get something that's cool toned and that will be a great alternative if you can't find your shade. We all know Makeup Revolution has dark contour powders, dark bronzers. So I would try their first just because they are really inexpensive and they work well. Check out my other video. I've showed it to you guys before. I picked this up. I don't know why guys, <laughs> if I'm completely honest, just because it's $15. This is the Marc Jacobs Accomplished Powder, which you've seen me use before. This is a different shade though. I had the shade Siren and I decided to get the shade Muse number 54. And when I got home and compared them, they look identical, like same color. This one might be a little tiny bit deeper than the other one, but it's still, if I decide to use this under my eyes, actually, yeah, it is deeper. So you can see very light there if I decide to use it under my eyes. This would be great to go over something that I think is too gold to help neutralize it, but it has a little bit of a sheen to it. So definitely have to use a light hand with this one. These next, the rest of these products are all eye products. I picked up this Stila Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow. These, everybody talks about how good they are. I have one. I saw this shade and there was absolutely no way I could not pick it up. This is in the shade Dollish. Y'all look at how gorgeous that is. It's like a pink with a gold shift to it. Oh, 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 that is so gorgeous. It doesn't even look as pink as it did in the tube, but that... We're gonna see a lip coming with that soon because that is gorgeous. I have one thing, it's not an eye product. I thought it was, but this is a lip stick by Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is a liquid lipstick. This was $7 and I'm sorry I didn't say the price. The Stila eyeshadow, the liquid shadow was also $7. This is in the shade Starfish. This is like a brownish nude and I picked this one up because I have one, I have Pure Hollywood, and that's like that milky pink nude, that light, light nude. And so I wanted something still nude and still a little lighter, but not that milky white. So let me go ahead and swatch this for you guys. I think this is such a, oh yeah, that is gorgeous. I don't even wear colors like this often. It's almost like a my lip, but better. So yeah. That is gonna be super pretty. Cannot wait to wear that. Then I picked up two liquid liners from Marc Jacobs. These were on sale for $10. I picked up a black because I always wear black liner. So that's this one here. Y'all know what a black liner is. Don't need to swatch that. But they also had this shade called Berry Deep, which I was like, if that's burgundy, that's dumb. I don't want it. But then I was like, just get it and try it. I'll open that upside down but it looks it is definitely a berry Ooh, that is pretty at first I thought maybe it would be kind of brown but that is definitely like a berry reddish color I hope that is coming off the right shade so that's different that's interesting and it's it's darker than a lot of the brown ones that I've found so that's a plus for sure. All right, almost done. Five more, <laughs> five more things. I picked up this First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream. This was $15 and this is like a super, super hydrating cream that I like to use on my hands. I like to use on my face when I'm really dry and I like using it on my feet. I don't always use it on my feet because it's expensive, but this was 15 bucks. So that makes me feel a little better about it. Now, I know y'all didn't think that Barbara was gonna go shopping for makeup and not pick up eyeshadow palettes, right? With a S, yes. The crazy thing, this first palette, this is the Becca Pearl Glow Shimmering Eye Palette. 
I was thinking about doing a cool tone look and I had no cool tone eyeshadow palettes, not a one. So I was like, what palette can I pick up that would be cute? And I Googled cool tone eyeshadow palette and this one actually came up. So I was looking to buy it and then I find it in Marshalls and it was $16.99. Regular price on this, I think I saw was either $48 or $54. This is what the palette looks like. So first of all, the color, the packaging, it's gonna look gorgeous in my closet. But I don't know what, like I haven't seen many videos if any about this i'm gonna go ahead and swatch some of the colors for you guys to see i mean they look pretty i don't know what these Ooh. okay i didn't expect that oh that's a topper shade so this i don't know why i swatched this side is what some of the shadows look like this is the dark brown this is the pinkish color this is this dark shade right here I did not expect that's the one I ooed because I didn't expect it to come off like that. This is this sort of duochrome color here at the top, which looks goldish. I'm sorry, I know I'm blinding y'all. There we go. But it looks pink on my arm. And then I'm gonna swatch the one next. What? The one next to it. Hold on. I just messed my stuff up, first of all, because I didn't wipe my finger off. This right here is what I just swatched. So it looks white, but make sure my finger is clean. When you swatch it, it has this like bluish reflect to it. Insane. Oh, now I'm even more excited that I got this palette. This one... Yeah, that's just kind of like a pearlish white. And then let's see what the black looks like. Black looks black. You know how sometimes you get a black and it's like, meh. No, that's, it's a little patchy, but swatches are stupid. So we all know that. It's all about how it applies on the eye. So I was kind of nervous about that palette, but now doing those swatches, especially those top ones, anything that you put that has any kind of color flip, it's the flip for me. So I am excited and cannot wait to use this palette because that is gorgeous. Next palette I picked up is the Revolution Time Sofex Ultra Makeup Pigment. I just got this one honestly because it was like $6 and I really like the face palette. You've seen me use that one. I was just kind of like, well, I don't know what these are gonna look like, but this is what the palette looks like. And I was just like, I mean, that's right up my alley. We all know that already. So I was just like, $6, why not? And these colors, oh. Every time I get one of these colors right here, like this blue, brown, whatever, it always looks, never looks that pigmented. So that's just a few of the swatches there. That's that blue, brown color. I mean, it shows a little bit, it's not bad. So those are the swatches there for that. So I don't know, that was more kind of just like a impulse. I know I'm gonna like these shades. Let's see how the palette looks in person versus just looking at them in the pan and hopefully they would be as good as the face palette. We'll see. Last two products I got, the last two products I picked up eyeshadow palettes. Y'all, I don't know why I was so excited to see this. Yes, I do. I'm gonna tell you because I paid $5 for it. This is the e.l.f. Opposites Attract palette. I've looked at this palette forever and y'all know I have the Retro Paradise palette and I have the New Classics palette. And this is the first one I think they came out in this format with the bigger palettes. And I saw it and I was just like, yes. And then I think it's like regular $16 or $18. And then I was like, I'm not doing it for e.l.f. I won't. Which is silly because it's good and it's not expensive for all of this. But in my head, I was just like, I don't even know what these are gonna be like. But I'll swatch a few of these. This is the, just to show you guys what they look like. I mean, we know e.l.f. shadows, you do have to work with a little bit just to help build up the color, but 
I definitely see myself getting somewhere out of these. I mean, that's my kind of shades. This is a very, I think the thing that drew me into it was of the darkness of the shades. So I felt like it was very brown girl friendly. I just see myself doing like smoky, jewel toned, but also neutral, like a lot of potential with this palette. So I will definitely be doing a look with this one to show you guys how it works. And then last but not least, this was totally just like a, oh my God, I can't believe I found this. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Riviera palette. It was on sale for 20 bucks. Did I need it? No. Had it been on my radar ever? No, it hadn't. But <laughs> you see it for $20? And then I don't know, to be honest, that I ever saw this in person just because I was like, I don't want a colorful palette like that. But this was before I started doing all these colorful looks. First of all, I love that their palettes always come with a brush, but look at that. Now that y'all have watched my channel, does this not look like me? Like really? I, I, I saw it and I was just like, it's not gonna go to waste at all. Get some looks out of it, pair it with some other palettes that you have. And we know the pigment that comes with Anastasia Beverly Hills. That's the thing. When you're paying for products that are high in, oh, what do I want to swatch? You know what you're going to get. These are the swatches for those. So as you can see, color payoff already. And then, I mean, just look at that. Look at that. What are we talking about? Ooh, that was a lot. Ooh, it's still going. Okay, girl. So <laughs> look at those colors, insane. So that's why I picked up that palette. That is everything I got from TJ Maxx and Marshalls. That is a lot of stuff and I'm blaming it all on faces with purpose because I was minding my own business, not checking for these stores. And now I am on a mission to try to stay out of them because that's enough. That is enough for me. Thank y'all for sticking with me to the end of this video. I appreciate it. Again, guys, don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notifications so that you know every time I upload. And give this video a thumbs up if you guys get excited about sales because I know that is the quickest way to get me to spend some money that I was not planning on spending. If you can get it at a discount, why not? That's my motto. Thanks for staying to the end of the video, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.